Hey guys! So now that we became the champion of Annika and received our clue of the third arc's whereabouts, we arrive here to Arthetine to find the third arc. However, the things escalate rather quickly. Upon asking around the people for clues, we rather soon find out that there is a rebellion going on and somebody is plotting to murder a whole bunch of people by destroying a train line. To make sure this doesn't happen, I intervene and I defuse the bomb, aka just kick it off the rails. And now the day is saved. Well, for now anyways. One of the soldiers told me, although he doesn't really know anything about the Ark, but the higher ups might know though. And because we became the hero that saved the day, they just might give us a little bit of their time. Upon arriving to the town hall, we meet Bastion, the administrator of the region. Once we asked him about the Ark, he said that yes, once there was a Sidriel in Argentine, and there is a very good chance that there just might be an Ark here. However, he can't really help us right now, even though he's very grateful for what we done for him and his people, he's reluctant to helping us because his hands are full right now with the rebellion going on and so he sent us to Sasha. She was much less reluctant to help us and she said she will go through the records to see if she can find any information about the Ark but that will take time and in the meantime she would like us to help her and became an inspector and try to figure out who's in charge of the rebellion, what exactly they want and how to stop them. And so the adventure in the Argentine begins. And so to kick off our adventure in Dartentine, we begin by facing off one of the first commanders of these bad guys. He was very tough talk, but not much more than that. He got Shrek pretty fast. Once I defeated him, he immediately started talking about how am I already too late and did he won. I guess this is what they all say and then I'm not too late. And right after that, I went and I inspected one of the technologists of Argentine. His name is Kraus. But before I was able to talk to him a little bit, these demons immediately showed up and so we had to fight them off. There was a whole bunch of them, a portal opened and there were a lot of them and they were showing up non-stop, a whole bunch of mini bosses we had to defeat all of them. But once we defeated all of them, this big guy boss appeared and he was decently strong but nothing too crazy. We defeated him as well and once I defeated him I wanted to talk to Kraus a little bit more but I guess I didn't have too much of a chance to do that. He went off rather quick but before he did that he told me that I should understand what he's doing and so from there onwards we had a pretty good clue that it was Kraus behind it all but we wasn't just sure yet. Also guys I hated with the passion this lift system like it wouldn't be a problem if this was just a couple lifts but they were everywhere. Whoever decided to put a hundred lifts in this region should they get immediately fired. I truly Truly hated it. But yeah, anyway, guys, I just had to have this little rant because I just hated this system, man. Yeah, anyway, after that, I went into this dungeon, and to be honest, it was one of the more cooler dungeons I've been so far. It had a whole bunch of monsters like interesting robots and stuff, some sort of a mecha robots. I also had the chance to ride this pretty cool board and I did that to evade a whole bunch of blades that were trying to kill me and lasers and stuff. Then after that I was also able to use this mecha which was pretty cool because I was able to use it myself and not just in a cutscene and it was pretty mad, it was pretty strong to be honest. I wrecked everything in my way which was pretty cool and fun. I flamed a whole bunch of other monsters, it was, it was fun, it was fun. And then I rode this platform and in the middle of riding it this big ship appeared. So I jumped into the ship, I defeated a whole bunch of monsters in the ship, once I did that I destroyed these two little towers here, once I did that the ship was about to crash, so I had to jump out, I did and as soon as I did jump out the ship crashed. Once I made my way out of the platform, now I was able to face the final boss of this dungeon. He wasn't super strong but he did give me a little bit of a challenge and then I noticed that it was actually her not him and this little lady here wasn't exactly happy about me defeating her, so she destroyed the ground and we both fell in. Once I managed to get on my feet again, she was quite pissed off and she attacked me again. Even though she was supposed to be stronger, I would argue she was a little bit weaker this time. So I defeated her pretty quickly. Unfortunately, she managed to run away with this little bee here. And then I reported everything back to Bastion. Upon finishing my report, he informed the city folks who was behind everything and he declared Kraus an enemy of the state. An assault on the heart of Skeptrum. I have formally declared Kraus an enemy of the state. I also received this pretty cool looking armor, now no longer looking like a complete newbie. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, after that I went in into this another dungeon. This one wasn't as big or as fun as the previous one, it was a little bit shorter. I quickly made my way to the end of the dungeon and here I was able to face off with two other commanders, S and J, the two brothers. 
They were pretty cocky to be honest. They thought they were gonna have fun with me. And that wasn't the case, I was having fun with them. But you know, it's a thousand years old lesson. Never underestimate your enemy. And so I dealt with them pretty quickly. They were pretty pissed about it and they decided to retreat. However, once they did retreat, I went to check the records and the records were already stolen. So even though they lost, they managed to get what he wanted. Bastion had this message to the people of Arthentine. Kraus is headed to the Verdantir. He seeks to activate Verdantir and threaten the world. He must be stopped at all costs. Upon scoping around quickly where we needed to go, we made our way to this huge tower here. But before we were able to do that, we needed to face off another general here. He was super cocky, he thought I was a new guy. And to be fair, I am. That's kind of the point of the series. <laughs> he was right, but you know, again, should not underestimate your enemy. And I killed him off pretty quickly. Once I defeated him, I was able to enter this dungeon here. And here, in this huge, huge tower, is where my enemies were lying. I need to face off both of the brothers, the little lady, and in the end, a Kraus. And of course, it wouldn't be this region without another lift in the dungeon. <laughs> it just has to have these lifts everywhere, man, I swear. It's a lift region, I don't know what else to tell you guys. But yeah, anyways. Once I moved out of this platform, I was able to face off my first two bosses, J and S, once again. However, this time I was actually able to defeat them for good, not just knock them out, but to actually defeat him. Even though they thought they were gonna get their vengeance, unfortunately for them, they didn't. Upon killing a whole bunch of more monsters and mini bosses, I moved my way up to the dungeon, and here I was able to face off the little lady again. This time she was a little bit more stronger and a little bit more pissed, but no big deal, I took care of her rather fast, she wasn't any anything too difficult or anything too strong. Upon defeating her, now I was able to move to the last platform where Kraus was leeching the powers of Verdantine. He was giving me a speech about how he is the one who's gonna become a god because true gods abandoned him in this city. And so while I was defeating all these monsters, he was leeching the power of Verdantine. Upon killing all the monsters, now I was able to face him off, but he already leeched a good amount of power from this orb, and so he transformed into this other version of himself. And now we faced off for a final battle. Now he was actually a decently strong, even after using my whole bonking skill, he still had a lot of life left, but I did manage to take care of him. And now that I did, the region of Arthentine is safe. But of course, that's not why we came here. So I went back to Bastion to report him that everything is good now, and also ask him about the Ark, because that was the part of the deal. And she told me, sure, ask Sasha, she's gonna know more. And she redirected me to this other guy here in the middle of the city. And even though we all thought that the Ark was gonna be hidden somewhere, actually it was just in the middle of the city. This guy and his family for generations safeguarded the Ark, and now he's just gonna give it away to me. So I guess the Bastion was lying to me when he said he doesn't know where the Ark is, because it was literally in the middle of his city. But we'll forgive him that, he needed help, fair enough. An equal exchange, I don't mind that. And you know, I need to make a video out of this. <laughs> so yeah guys, now we have our third Ark. I quickly went to Trickston Dimension or whatever it's called, I can't remember right now. And I placed my third Ark here. So now as you can see, we have three out of seven. I went back to Bastion real quick and he told me that there might be some more arcs in North Wern. So for now, that's the only clue we have and we're gonna follow that. And that's the story of Arthentine. So what did I thought about this arc? Truthfully, I know many people told me that after Annika, everything's gonna be a blast, but I'm gonna be honest, this region was the least favorite for me. I wasn't big a fan of this region. The story was decent. It wasn't that good, but it was decent enough. It's passable, that's about all I can say for it. I really didn't like the atmosphere in this region, I don't know what it is, I just didn't like the whole vibe of this region, I didn't like. I despise the lift system and it being everywhere in this region, like I truly didn't like it, I think you can tell it by now. But even though it was my least favorite region, still it wasn't bad by any means. It's just the bar is so high that even when some of the arcs are not as good as others, they are still quite good. Every other region before that I just loved it and this one was just okay for me nothing more than that just okay not bad not great 
just fine. It was just good enough for me not to be too bored. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I can't wait to get to Northvern and leave this arc behind. But we did get here a third arc, so that's great. For me this arc was also kind of missing like the culmination. I know I fought this last boss and it was like a culmination of the arc, but I don't know, it just didn't feel. It just felt like one of those other bosses that you face off every now and then. Like in the last arc there was like this huge dimensional fight and before that in Makoko village there was this elemental boss that was really cool and in Lutera there were many standouts. Here however I just didn't have any standout fight or standout scene or just anything that stood out and left a highlight in my memories. But that's okay, I suppose not every arc has to be amazing and special. Even though I don't show in this video, I already stepped my foot in Northburn and as soon as I did I immediately loved the atmosphere of this area so I think the next one's gonna be good. I don't know if it's gonna be but I have a feeling it's gonna be. It felt a little bit more like Lutera but I guess we'll see, I don't know, you know, I maybe spent like 5 minutes in there so far. But yeah, we'll see I suppose. Yeah, anyway guys, like always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for all the support. If you could like, subscribe, comment, that would be amazing. I put so much work into these videos. Not all of them get thousands of views. Any help you guys can give me, I would appreciate it a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in Northburn. Bye bye.